<clears throat> Shalom. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Rukha Kadash. <clears throat> I want to send forth double honor to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who rule well and who has taught us his truth. <coughs> Shalom, wa baraki, ma bakari, peace and blessings to the elect. Lord willing, it's an edifying video. <coughs> and um, essentially, I, I'm just uh, <coughs> leaving the gym to lock you. I'm battling a uh, fucking cold. Satan always trying to get me sick, man. Well, he successfully does, really, on a consistent basis. All right, but um, <clears throat> I was leaving the gym, and um, I was just running. I did like a 30-minute run. And um, <clears throat> it made me uh, want to do this video. All right, because as we know, um, being in this faith is like being on a run. Are being in, in the midst of a race And um <clears throat> Towards the end of my run I was just telling myself like You already did the majority of it You might as well finish it You know and that's the mentality that we, we have as well You know as men of the Lord Sincere believers in Yahweh Um <clears throat> We're in this faith And we're here to uh, win it <laughs> Alright <clears throat> So this is um Ecclesiastes 9, I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, Whatsoever thy hand find, findeth to do, do it with thy might. <clears throat> it's a beautiful scripture. You know, because the Lord is pretty much telling us anything we that we do in our life, we're supposed to give it our all. Okay? All right? <clears throat> it says, For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave where the thou goest. You can't put in work when you're, when you're dead in the grave. Right? So while the... We're breathing <coughs> And we're able body We're supposed to put in that work Okay And anything And any and everything that we do But the chief thing Is this faith This ministry You know being diligent Let me get that real quick Alright Being diligent towards the Lord's name Alright This is 2 Peter 1 and 10 Wherefore The rather brethren Give diligence To make your calling And election sure for if you do these things, you shall never fall. All right. And we don't want to fall out this faith. <clears throat> we want to make it onto the very end. OK, we want to receive the reward of our work. We want to receive the reward of our labors, man. We want Yahweh Shai to, to tell us, enter into his paradise, enter into his rest. All right. So we got to continue the course right now. Ecclesiastes 9 11, I returned and saw under the sun. That the race is not to the swift. <clears throat> Alright, a lot of Jake, they come into the faith, guns blazing. Alright, they, they learn a, a million and one precepts. <laughs> they out they out on the street each and every day. <laughs> Four hours. Two, three years later, they're gone. Right? Because they didn't pace themselves. Okay, we understand that <clears throat> this is a eternal work that we're doing, man. This is this is forever, man. All right, until the Lord comes back. Um, so it's not about going as fast as you can. All right, because as he's not in tennis, as I return and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. So, of course. <clears throat> You, you you would correlate these these gifts and these talents to obtain certain things, right? Like if you're wise, you'd have money, you know, and so on and so forth. But the Lord is the one that puts everyone in their positions, man. All right? <clears throat> and the Lord is the one that's ordained the elect, all right, to be delivered and to make it unto the very end. All right? So we got to pray that we're part of the elect. And like I said, like I read in Peter's, furthermore, we got to be diligent because we know that we were called, okay? But we don't know if we were chosen. The only way to know we're chosen is if we endure unto the end, man. All right? <clears throat> Let me get that real quick. Because this is the thing of endurance, man. This ministry, this faith deals with endurance. This is Matthew chapter 10, 
in verse 22 it says and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake all right when you come in this faith and you believe in Yahweh Shai, all right, whom the world calls Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai. All right, by the way, he's a, he would be identified as a so called black man if he was on the earth right now. All right, when you come to the Lord and you start following after him and his ways, the world's going to hate you, man. All right, the world's going to hate you. And that's part of um, enduring this race as well, man. All right, that's part of the obstacles that we have to hurdle. Uh, in this race as well <clears throat> Right It says It says for For my name's sake Alright And the reason why we're being hated Is for the Lord's sake Alright <clears throat> It's not us that they truly hate It's Yahweh Bashim al who they hate man Alright We're just speaking the Lord's words And they can't take it They can't bear it Alright Because the Lord's words Comes with correction all right, and our people love how they are. They don't want to be corrected. They want to continue in their sinful ways. All right, it says, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. <clears throat> and that's the point. All right, this faith is an endurance, man. You have to endure. We have to endure unto the end. All right, it doesn't matter what we did. It doesn't matter that we ran the race. We're in the race yesterday. It doesn't matter if we were in first place yesterday, man. What place are you in today? What place are you in tomorrow? We got to cross that finish line, man. All right. This is uh, Philippians <coughs> chapter 3. Um, and I'm going to read verse 12. It says, um, it says, not as though I had already attained. My fact, I'm, I'm going to read verse 13. It says, brethren. I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. So like I mentioned earlier, it doesn't matter what we did yesterday or the day before or two years ago or five years ago. You can't look at the things you did five years ago. Oh, man, I was I was bringing out videos, four or five videos every week. I was... It doesn't matter, man. What are you doing right now, man? Like Apostle Bar always says, if a, if a light, you don't you don't give praise to a light when it when it cuts on. It's just doing what it was created to do, man. We as Israelites, servants of the Lord, serving the Lord is what we're supposed to do. You're not supposed to get a pat on the back, man. It's our reasonable service, man. The scriptures say in Ecclesiastes, this is the conclusion of all man. Serve the most high. Keep this co and keep this commitments, man. Fear him. All right. <clears throat> Verse uh, fourteen. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the Most High and the Mashiach Yahushua. We got to press forward, man. We got to make it onto the end. We got to make it to the finish line. All right, Yahushua is right there, giving us our crowns, man. You won the race. Here's your crown. All right, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Obviously, this is like the first scripture I was thinking of when I was thinking about, you know, hitting the record button. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain, right? Because what? Everyone that runs a race, only one is the winner, man. Only one is the victor. All right? We're supposed to run this race as if we're going to obtain the victory, man. All right? We're running this race with full assurance, knowing that if we continue in this and we continue to do the things that the Lord commanded us to do, we're going to receive salvation, man. All right? Verse 25, it says, And every man that's striving for the mastery is temperate in all things. And what we're doing is we're striving for excellence. We're striving for the mastery. All right, we're striving to be kings in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? And in order to do that, we have to be temperate in all things. All right? Temperate just means you have discipline or you have self-restraint. All right? You're not going to be... Um, <coughs> you're not going to be... Uh, <coughs> 
you know, doing as the world does, like the scriptures say, um, rioting, reveling, uh, excess of wine, all, right, all these things that's of the flesh that's going to distract you and, and make you unprofitable to the Lord. These are things that we're not overindulging in. We're disciplining ourselves so that we can uh, be um, used of the Lord, man. All right, it says, now they do it to obtain the corruptible crown. See, even people in this world, if they want to be great in this world, they got to be disciplined, be different athletes. All right, they got to hit their workouts, get their workouts in, get their rest. They, they can't go to parties all the time. And they're doing these things for a corruptible crown. It says, but we an incorruptible. When the Lord, <clears throat> when we finish the course um, that the Lord has set for us, we're going to receive a crown that can't, that doesn't decay. That can't be uh, taken away. All right, it's incorruptible. It's forever. All right, so how much more should we be striving for this? I mean, this is the greatest reward, the greatest gift uh, that a man can can ever receive. <coughs> it says, verse twenty six. I therefore uh, so run, not as uncertainly. So fight I, not as one that beateth the air. See. We got to run again. We got to run with full assurance, knowing that once we finish this thing, the Lord is going to be well pleased with us. All right. It says, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. We got to submit our flesh. We got to subject, subject, we put underneath our flesh. All right. Because our body is going to have us want to do everything in the world, but be diligent towards the Lord. Man. All right. If we uh, fall victim to it, which we do. All right, but we can't do it all the time. But if we continue to fall victim to it, we're going to be destroyed, man. But if we dominate it and put it in subjection through our faith in our Lord, Yahweh Shai, we're going to live. All right? It says, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. So that's what it is. Look, if you don't discipline yourself, you preach to others and you're going to be a castaway. All right? Now, let me go ahead. And that's a horrible thing, man. It'd be better to not have preached at all than to fall out, all right, or to be rejected. Here it is. There's some Jake out here that's called himself doing the work. And when the Lord comes, he's going to say, I never knew thee. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I mean, how scary is that? <clears throat> all right. This is um, Hebrews 10 and 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence which have a great recompense of reward. <clears throat> we got to continue in this faith, man, because we're going to be greatly rewarded, man. Far exceeding the effort that we put out is the reward we're going to receive. Like, it doesn't equal, you know? It's far more. The Lord's going to give us way more uh, than what we earned. All right? Um, I'm going to end it on that. Lord's world is edifying. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Rakakadash. The bonus to the apostles and elders, a great millstone of rule well. Shalom, wa barakim, wa barakim, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.